Hello Salesforce enthusiast! Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to guide you through the process of submitting a case in Salesforce. Whether you're a Salesforce admin, a support agent, or a user, this skill is essential for effective issue resolution and collaboration. But before we dive into all of it, if you are new here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our exciting content. We upload new videos every single time. And to all of our returning viewers, thank you for your continued support and we love having you as a part of our fantastic community. Okay, so, but before we go into all of it, make sure that, that you go to um, salesforce.com. If you don't have an account yet, please create one. You can go to the web browser of your choice, be it Brave, or Microsoft Edge, Safari, but for now, I'm using Google Chrome. And once you created your account, log in using your credential. Once successful, all you got to do is uh, go to the interface and go here to um, help salesforce.com. All right. Okay. So once you are there, let me just uh, share to you that submitting a case in Salesforce is all, often part of the customer support or service process. Okay. So um, it's a primary way for users or customers to report issues or problems they are experiencing. Like it initiates the process of resolving these problems efficiently. Um, in this case, though, it helps in addressing inquiries, you know, troubleshooting technical problems and providing assistance in a structured and organized manner. Cases create a record of customer interactions and inquiries. This documentation is valuable for maintaining a history of customer issues, which can be referenced in future interactions. By providing a standardized form uh, for users to submit their issues, cases streamline the support process and the necessary information is collected up front, reducing back and forth communication. Okay, Cases can be assigned in different priority levels based on the nature of the issue and its impact. This helps support teams prioritize their work and address critical issues first. Cases can be automatically or manually assigned to the appropriate support agent or team. This ensures that cases are routed to the right people with the necessary expertise to resolve them. The data collected through cases can be used for reporting and analytics. This helps organizations identify trends, you know, common issues, and areas where improvements are needed in their products or even services. In situations where an issue cannot be resolved at the initial support level, cases can be escalated to a higher level support or management for further attention. Now, when you are here at the helpsalesforce.com, okay, you will be given uh, uh, some helpful tips here, okay? So you can even watch this video for help, for supplemental information. Now you can actually initiate a chat with a sales for support if you're if you're if you're having problems uh, nav navigating with the uh, the interface here. All you gotta do is chat with a live agent, and it'll and the agent will guide you through to the process and make it simpler for you. But in case you wanted to type in the the case here, all you're gonna do is click this part here and it will ask for your logins and users and basically your credentials and once you log in that you will take note of the cases that you wanted like here you have to populate all the information right so here you know there's a lot of uh cases uh type like product you know service marketing and so that in that sense uh, the customer support will not second guessing your concern because all of it is already given here. You just have to choose. It'll be a lot easier for you guys, so it'll avoid the back and forth of communication. And it's an efficient case management and resolution, contributing to a higher levels of customer, you know, satisfaction. Because I believe a well handled case can turn to a dissatisfied customer into a happy and loyal one right who do what that who doesn't want that in some industries maintaining a record of customer inquiries and how they were addressed is essential for regulatory compliance and audit purposes 
Now, guys, I'd like you to know that submitting a case in Salesforce is a fundamental process for effectively managing customer inquiries, providing support, documenting issues, and continuously improving products and services. It's a vital component of customer relationship management and contributes to an overall customer satisfaction. And also, this helps users and support agents find solutions to frequently encountered problems more easily in the future. You just have to hover to the topics that you wanted and then submit it. That easy. And I believe that's it for today's video. And if you find it helpful, please um, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for your continued support. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, guys. See you.